All right, I haven't made a video for quite some time now, and um, for a number of reasons. But um, what I'm going to do is do some load bank testing tonight. Let's, let's the gasifier. I'm still using the same gasifier, Venturi scrubber. It's essentially the only form of filtration. I do have a cyclone filter over there. Then it goes to the Venturi scrubber. I got the Toyota um, 22R engine on here. Um, same control panel. Haven't automated much. But I'm currently using this uh, 25 horsepower three-phase motor as a generator. It's working out quite well. Um, the amazing part of it is, is I've even found that I can have a um, 10 kilowatt load, resistive load on it, and bring it up from nothing with this generator. It's working great. Got the um, the, the radiator mount over here. Let's go inside. What um, it's a nasty night. Um, it's about 34 degrees and we've had about five inches of rain in the last day and a half. What I'm using is a C2C connection here and um, basically you, you determine the capacitor value for your generator or your, your motor then you double it for the other phase. Um, I'll go over that more in detail and I'll also show you how to do this on a grid tie. I can get around 65 amps of resistive load and about 76 amps of um, on the push. I can push approximately 76 amps in the grid with no problem, no overheating. The only drawback is my engine. Just that, that's that's all the power I can get out of that engine. Um, the load bank I'm going to be using is a uh, assist of heat for a um, a heat pump. It's electric. Each one of the what I've did is, is I put switches in here. Each one of these will be a five kilowatt load. Each switch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave two of them on. I like to bring, I just go ahead and bring her up with that 10 kilowatt load on there. Um, the capacitors, and, and I, like I said, I'll go into more detail later, but the capacitors are used to, um, to, to get your frequency right, to get you at 60 hertz and to maintain that. And it's very, relatively simple to calculate the capacitance you need, but I, I, like I said, I'll make another video in the future go over on just exactly how to do that um, but let's just get this load bank testing underway what I will probably do this crazy camera only records about eight minutes at a time um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video go outside and um, set up and then let you watch raw footage of the gasifier starting and, and coming up the power and then I'll make shoot some more footage after that. Again, um, I'm back. <laughs> Again, I'd, I'd like to stress, it's just an all-around nasty night. Everything's wet, damp. Like I said, I think it's 34 degrees. It's raining off and on. Right now it's not raining. It's just all-around nasty. But that's the way it is. And it doesn't seem to make any difference. I mean, it, it runs fine just no matter what. I have to get my battery charger out my battery's dead. Um, well, let's just fire it up.
let her heat up enough. Let me just turn this blower back on. It's not a big deal. Um, I really don't worry. I, I don't really don't worry a whole lot about um, fire and stuff. I just let the scrubber take it out. Um, it does burn really clean though, even without the scrubber. It doesn't take it very long though to come up to 10. But the floor isn't really big enough. So I have to do it. I have to start it pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get some more air back in there.
before. 